Hello, Namaskar and Adab to all my friends from your friend Astrologer and Guide Irfan once more with you from your very own channel Astro Assurance. When we look at the placement of planets in different divisional charts, it is also important for us to see in which sign they are placed rather than only houses. We have already done an entire series of all the nine planets placed in the different houses in your D9 chart, in your Navamsa chart. And right now we are in the series where we are defining the placements of planets in different signs in your D9 chart, in your Navamsa chart and how we can connect them back to the placement in the D1 chart, in your Lagna chart. Today we will be talking about the placement of the planet Saturn in the different signs in your D9 chart, in your Navamsa chart. Because Saturn is a very karmic planet. It is the karmic equalizer, so it's very important to gauge how Saturn is placed in your D9 chart, which houses it is placed in, the series which you have already done, and which signs it is placed in, and then connect it to the D1 charts, houses, and signs. Today we will be talking about Saturn's placement in the different signs in the D9 chart, and then connect it back to the signs it is placed in your D1 chart and see. Through that connection, through the karmic equalizer that Saturn is, what is the manifestation it gives us, what is the denotation that Saturn gives us. Now when Saturn goes into the sign of Aries, it's a very very karmic placement. Saturn is a planet which will be a karmic equalizer in whichever sign it is. In the sign of Aries, it gets debilitated which means there is some karma which is left over which the person needs to do in this life. This also means that there may be some impediments in your career, in your work, in your relationships also with your superiors at work. Sometimes the goal setting may also be a challenge and goal getting may not be easy. But yeah, if a person is dedicated, the person is committed, the person is loyal, then over a period of time Saturn does give you good results if you are working with patience and with perseverance. Say if Saturn goes into the sign of Sagittarius in your D1 chart. So yeah, you are linking your duty and committing yourself to the duty religiously. This also means that you may need to go away from your birthplace and do your work in foreign lands and take up responsibility for, for serving others also in foreign lands or MNC companies or customers or clients from foreign lands. However, this also means that one needs to be more liberal in one's thoughts. One needs to be also far reaching and move away from traditional thinking that Saturn is bound by but be more liberal in thinking. Only when you are liberal in thinking, only when you are dedicated your commitment, then Saturn while placed in the Aries sign in the D9 chart still may give you good fruits, fruits of your labor built over a period of time with dedication and loyalty. When Saturn goes into the sign of Taurus, what does this mean? It means that one needs to serve your community, immediate society, extended family also and all those who need nourishment and support to help others earn their livelihood, stand up on their feet and also to enable people through skill building, competency building to become more self-reliant, to serve one with values and principles and be steadfast as the Taurus energies represent. Now connect it to whichever sign Saturn is placed in your D1 chart in your Lagna chart. Say Saturn goes into the sign of Capricorn. What does this mean? It means working with humility, working with commitment, working with complete dedication and working with building rapport with superiors at work, with seniors at work because only through that will we, will we be able to get better results from our work. This also means to work on those projects which others may find difficulty in working and to upskill people through your ability to create leadership because Saturn is also a planet when it gets into Capricorn and in its own sign Capricorn also represents superiors and seniors at work. So if one works steadfastly with values and principles, with dedication and commitment, works to build others also to senior leadership posts and builds rapport with seniors then over a period of time Saturn gives you good success, stability in your results, stability in your work and also stability in getting more karmic results out of your work. When Saturn goes into the sign of Gemini, this means that you need to use your communication skills as a tool and as a means to serve others. Work on your word. If you are giving your word, ensure that you stick to your promises. Stick to the commitment that you are giving to others. Work on your ability to convince others 
to influence others and to serve them better through your ability to influence others to serve others this also means that if you get a skill the zodiac has given you some skill then use that to entertain others and as that means to reach out to people but also be steadfast in your thinking rather than dilly dallying or be dual minded approach that gemini sign sometimes can give you now see if saturn goes into the sign of scorpio in your d1 chart in your lagna chart what does this mean this means use your communication to reach out to those people whose life is facing blockages who have sudden issues in their life sudden disasters in their life those who feel helpless without support of others and who reach out to such people who may be invisible to others who society is not able to support who society is not able to see and using your communication skills your ability to influence others using others to be able to uplift these people who are downtrodden who are in a spot of bother and using your skills of dedication commitment and the way that you are will be able to influence others who may be better affluent or more affluent than the these people who are down and using those skills of bringing people together and your commitment to lift these people out of their miseries out of their tough situation that is the meaning of saturn if it goes in the sign of gemini in your d9 chart connected to the scorpio sign in your d1 chart now if saturn is in the sign of cancer in your d9 chart cancer is the sign of dedication commitment in serving others through supporting others through giving nourishment through empathizing with others through an ability to give them a patient ear to understand people to listen more and to talk less and to serve with a dedication which only a mother can bring to people and so here saturn getting into cancer means set support people with their dedication that commitment give the emotional balm to people be work on your ability to empathize with people and empathize with people with a lot of dedication and commitment and with the patience and perseverance of a mother and to be available emotionally to those who are emotionally deprived maybe even emotionally challenged some people may be facing troubles then even going through depression and who may need a friend so to be a friend to people who may need a friend when they are going through tough times and also to support the homeless those ones who have lost their means to earn now connect the saturn in the cancer sign in your d9 chart to your placement of saturn in your d1 chart in your lagna chart say saturn is in the sign of aquarius in your d1 chart what does this mean it means that you need to be able to reach out to those people who society seems to ostracize whom society seems to have left behind and then to work for them to take up societal causes where the need for empathy understanding emotional support is needed most to work with those who believe in a similar cause and join hands with those people who can help most and to work with the dedication and with the need of no desire to get rewards and awards and only through that the ability to be able to offer support and nourishment when saturn is in cancer and to be able to reach out to mars is for a cause the saturn when it gets into aquarius and so if saturn gets into the sign of cancer in your d9 chart see which sign it is placed in your d1 chart and then be able to get the manifestation right to be able to get the best karmic results while you're offering your support and nourishment to those who need the most if saturn is in the sign of leo in your d9 chart this is a person who has to serve with a lot of responsibility and a leadership this is the leader who needs to take accountability to serve others and the person who believes that his karma is to serve others and to serve others with humility and to take up the responsibility for others even when no authority is given to you even when no designation is given to you now say saturn has gone into the sign of pisces in your d1 chart in your lagna chart it means that you need to support those who have lost everything and need both emotional and livelihood to to survive and so working for those people who have lost optimism who have lost any degree of hope and to serve them with a large heart and with a kindness and then to create means because of which you raise their optimism cutting across boundaries national boundaries and to work for the people to uplift them and to be able to bring in a more positivity in people's lives as well if you are able to do that support people help people with accountability with leadership and with selflessness and with humility then saturn will truly reward you in your ability to rise through the ranks where to become a leader yourself when saturn is in the sign of virgo in your d9 chart virgo is the sign of serving 
and saturn is also someone who believes in servitude mind who saturn is also the karaka of the sixth house virgo has sixth house energy so here this is a high karmic responsibility for you and a karmic debt also which needs to be paid off and here you need to serve those who are sick who are unhealthy who are burdened with loans and in debt and to serve in hospitality industry to serve in those industries where you need to be able to give the utmost care utmost service to either people who need that either being sick or being somebody who needs that support even from law agencies or who are going through trouble with the law agencies or going through trouble because of being in debt and to support in a caring and supportive industry also now check where saturn goes into your d1 chart in your lagna chart say saturn goes into the sign of aries in your lagna chart where it seems to be debilitated this means that you need to serve others who may be sick who may be downtrodden but not to expect any reward from it and to make this a goal which may not give you high material success and to be able to do that with complete dedication almost as a karmic responsibility and a debt that you need to pay off because you are carrying that debt forward and to work with superiors even when you may not be getting that kind of support from them and dedicate your life to serving others and only through this over a period of time serving others helping others supporting nourishing others zodiac will overall pay you in the long run maybe better late than never when saturn is in the sign of libra in your d9 chart this is an excellent placement for saturn this means that you need to serve others help others work in your career basis relationships your ability to form relationships your ability to form synergies but in a balanced view while you work hard it is also important that you may be working hard in your career but you should not forget that you also have a relationship back home and to be true and committed to your relationship this also means to be ready to give first and expecting rewards only later and relations will be rewarding to those people who will be committed and who will be disciplined and those who will be committed to relationship and balance them for them the zodiac will also reduce challenges now connect the saturn place in libra in your d9 chart to where saturn is placed in your d1 chart say saturn is placed in your lagna chart in your d1 chart in the sign of gemini this means that you need to work on your communication and through communication you will be able to handle the balance that you need to create in relationship the synergies that you need to create in your relationship this also means to work with commitment and dedication and use your communication skills to influence others through that being able to establish a relationship and through that being able to serve others this also means to be committed in your language work on your language and your communication skills because that will be the biggest tool that you can be able to use to serve others to work with others and also to work in your own career to be steady in your thoughts not to be dual minded and not to change your decisions without due consideration and not to overthink because that will be one thing which will be taking you away from your ability to be able to carry a balanced approach to your relationship and to get the best results of saturn in the libra sign in your d9 chart when saturn is in the sign of scorpio in your d9 chart it means that you need to work with others to help those who have challenges obstacles in their work those people who are trying hard to get ahead in life but some of the other problem challenges is holding them back either it is because of the environment that they work in or the health reasons or maybe their career is not supporting them or there is some disaster that they are going through there are some people who live in those areas which are very very not up market those who may not have the best of services so going there and serving those people who their everyday life becomes an obstruct obstruction and for such people with scorpio with saturn and scorpio their own careers may also go through ups and downs to go a lot of transformations and only after transformations ups and downs upheavals may be overcoming issues every now and then being persevering being hard working and being patient over a period of time zodiac giving you the results because you have learned to be patient while facing the obstacles now see where saturn is placed in your d1 chart in your lagna chart and establish that connection see saturn is in the sign of cancer the sign of helping others build assets helping others get their nourishment helping others to get their own succor and to be able to stand on their feet and helping others to build the assets over a period of time with discipline helping others how to manage their finances so that they have savings using those savings they will be able to build the assets 
being patient and serving those who need the nourishment, who need the support, and that will help the zodiac also get back to you with the blessings. However, a big transformation is surely in on the cards for people of Saturn and Scorpio in the Dina and chart. If you are able to overcome that transformation with patience, with forbearance, then this is a very good placement where after the transformation, the zodiac truly awards you great success. If Saturn is in the sign of Sagittarius in your D9 chart, this means probably you may have to work away, long place away from your place of birth, maybe even in foreign lands, or you may have to travel to different places to be able to serve to be able to do better and your luck will shine better when you are away from your place of birth far away from your place of birth maybe even in foreign lands this is also a place where you can serve others as a high duty that has been given to you almost as a religious duty that has been given to you and you may need to work in an environment where high qualifications are needed high degrees are needed your education may also become your backbone to serve others this is also a placement where if you serve others then this may also bring you luck especially if you're serving your guru your spirit you're serving your father having good relations with father and guru and serving others using your education using your life learning using experiential learning is what the zodiac is expecting from you now connect this saturn in the sign of sagittarius in your d9 chart to the placement in your Lagna chart in your D1 chart. See Saturn is placed in the sign of Leo. Now both the signs are very fiery planets which means high order of goal setting, goal getting is on the cards. This means that you need to work with responsibility, high accountability but with a lot of dedication, with a lot of liberal thought and with a lot of fervor almost as if it's a religious duty for you. So high leadership, high commitment, high goal getting fiery energy may be needing to work across natural boundaries also when you are able to do that high degree of hard work patience and dedication then this is a very strong placement of getting ahead being able to achieve all your goals getting ahead even in the leadership getting high authority in your work also spread over a period of time if you are able to use your educational qualifications and build on your educational qualification when saturn is in the sign of capricorn in your d9 chart this is a very very strong placement of high dedication high service bringing in good rewards for you built over a period of time building because of the commitment that you're shown at work but this is also a placement that the better rapport you have better you are able to work with superiors better you work able to work within the boundaries that are given to you then because of your dedication at work greater rewards will also come to you the more disciplined that you are the better more work that you are ready to take the more patient you are you will get more stability also built over a period of time being very structured at work saying not not saying no to a high responsibilities given to you higher projects being given to you is the name of the game now if you are able to do that then over a period of time very good stable re results come to you high leadership course will also come to you however you need to connect this placement of saturn in the d9 chart in capricorn with its placement in your d1 chart in the lagna chart say saturn is in the sign of libra in your d1 chart in the lagna chart this means that the better you are at balancing your work with your commitment your authority that whichever authority figures at work you have or your own responsibility the better results you will get relations will be the key for you be, to be able to do better your output will be connected to relationships you will be able to get ahead in your work and be able to deliver better in your projects in your deliverables only when you work in your relations and only when you establish partnerships and ability to work with team members and your career will be better suited not only when you are able to balance partnerships and responsibility but also keep in mind that better rapport with people means better output in the end when saturn is in the sign of aquarius aquarius in the d9 chart is not only the most economic sign but it a very it is a very karmic placement for saturn also because here saturn is at its highest level of energies this means a person may be need to work for large organizations or large causes or work with large masses this means that over a period of time when you work with dedication in large settings where societal work societal causes is the nature of the game and you are ready to work with dedication then you be you will be served even at a karmic level the zodiac will also reward you this means being patient in serving large masses through your work in large organization and through that being able to reach better 
to people who really need that help and support this is also placement that there is some cost that you need to connect to because that is also the karmic debt that you need to pay off because aquarius is the mool tikkun sign of saturn now see where saturn is placed in your d1 chart in your lagna chart and connect the manifestation of saturn in aquarius in your d9 chart to its placement in your d1 chart see saturn is in the sign of leo in your d1 chart so this is the leader who serves masters with dedication with responsibilities and with accountability without needing a gain for self without needing any material desire for self this is a person who takes pride in serving others is very humble in serving others a person who feels that there is no higher requirement for higher designation to serve and will still serve with authority even when designation is not given to the person the person feels that it's true dedication which makes one a leader than the need for high authority or high designation a very very karmic placement the saturn is in the sign of aquarius a true mass leader ability to work at a large mass level to be able to do the best placement for saturn in your d9 chart when saturn goes into the sign of pisces pisces mind you is the 12th house energy is also so it's a very karmic placement it is a placement of high spiritual elevation if you work with hard work and dedication and commitment this is a person who has been given the karma to work with lot of optimism even in fact to be looking at can i convert this society into more idealistic approach and to work relentlessly optimistically towards those challenges overcoming those challenges this is also an energy to be very optimistic that one day things will change and you will be one of the cogs in the wheel which will help about to bring about the change in the world this may also entail that one may have to work abroad one may have to work in mnc companies or one may even work for foreign client however a truly a karmic placement where even if you get connected to those organizations which are more connected to donations foundations charity organizations still you will be able to do better even in your work at environment through your projects as well as to be able to support society at large now connect this placement of saturn in pisces in your d9 chart to its placement in your d1 chart say saturn is in the sign of taurus in your d1 chart this means that you need to still connect with people optimistically to raise them up but to be very steadfast to be able to do it with a lot of values and principle and also look at your immediate community first before you look at the larger world to be very very dedicated and to be also to be able to see how materialistically also you can serve others because pisces is a sign where people may have lost their materialistic holdings possessions so, taurus being the sign of materialism so helping others to be able to stand on their feet get their livelihood and get their assets back and through that being able to create optimism in people's life and to better people's life and so a person who works hard with dedication with lot of commitment but with principles and values and with steadfastness the taurus energy gives you but with also with idealistic optimism with saturn in pisces gives you so friends now that we have seen how saturn in the different signs in your d9 chart will manifest depending on how you are able to connect it with its energies in your d1 chart check in which sign your saturn is placed in your d9 chart i have also done a series of saturn in the different houses in your d9 chart together see the manifestation of saturn in which sign in which house it is connected with the sign in your d1 chart and to the house it is and through that having a better understanding of saturn it's a very karmic placement of saturn being able to use it as a karmic equalizer to be able to pay off your karmic debt and to be able to get the best results that the zodiac will also support you in getting back because this is also your karma so friends like this video share this video and if you're looking for a personal consultation from me please reach out to me at the link given below till some other time with some other video this is your friend astrologer and guide the fun signing off Ciao